Comfortably playing a game is something most gamers long for, but being comfortable comes at a cost, like losing precision, which then leads to to being washed up and getting kicked out of the Fortnite team. God damn! When it comes to controllers, I have possibly tried them all. Mouse and keyboard, PS4 and Xbox controller. I even went to the extent of being evicted from my apartment for screaming hot dog water, using voice commands to play my games. No controller has given me the gaming experience my sweet boner has longed for. Just like when you've been using your friend's controller to play Halo 3 all night and realize a caked layer of finger gunk on there that belongs to him and you think to yourself, God damn it. I just used this hand to eat Doritos five minutes ago. And then it hit me. Browsing my YouTube feed one day, Harold of Mitten Squad released a video of himself beating New Vegas with a Guitar Hero controller. This inspired me. And after years of searching, I set out and I did what any hot, thick gamer girl would do in my situation. After many days of prayer and studying, Todd Howard, the gaming god himself and lead actor in The Fast and Furious, blessed me with something. A controller that brought precision, that had realism, that had triggers so comfortable, it's equivalent to bathing in 10 buckets of extra crispy KFC chicken. And most of all men, booty blasting. All in one single product. Today we will answer a question no sane person has ever asked. Can you beat Fallout 4 with only a Wii remote? We have two simple rules for this run. Rule one, only my Wii remote can be used to control my character and game. And rule two, no vats whatsoever, because I'm going for the most realistic experience as possible. Hold on to your mocha frappa titty lattes, gentle boys. Let's get to work. Setting up the Wii remote to be used as a controller with the Wii sensor bar was an absolute pain in the butt cheek. After hours of searching, the internet gods blessed my micro dick and brought me to this man. This video in turn led me to the dark web and finding out how to actually set up the Wii remote to be recognized as a controller. Woo! Yes! It was a start, but you can bet your sweet turds I wasn't there yet. A bit of more research and nipple rubbing later, I found this video deep in an ancient Mandarin temple. It brought me secrets of the past. Inside this video, I found scripts to turn my Wii remote into an actual controller for my PC. It even utilized the sensor bar and all, adding for maximum precision. Now that the butt plug was completely inserted, it was time to channel my inner hacker and mess around with the script, tailoring it to the controls of Fallout 4. But enough boring you sweet poops. Eventually, your boy Seznam was able to get it to work. Yeah! Oh! oh my god! It's actually fing working! Alright, Pit Boy. <laughs> yes! What? And now it was time for preparation. Onyx Black Limited Edition, only two ever made in the world, Wii Remote and Nunchuck. Rumors are, only Kanye West and I have one of these bad boys. Next, Gucci Off-White Holster Mechanism, personally sent to me by Elon Musk himself. This wouldn't be a weapon though, without any tactical attachments. Personally sent to me by the President of the United States himself, and a personal favorite of mine, a state-of-the-art hot dog, red rocket targeting system. This bad boy, makes for easy shots and for when you know a boy gets a boy gets a little hungry you know you know what I'm you know what I'm saying, man? I know my setup doesn't look like much, but to the eye of a trained professional like me, this weapon is beyond dangerous and capable of beating Fallout 4. At least I think. After getting my gear set up, the run has finally started. And so far, so good. I really didn't feel like dicking around with the character creator, but Nate is already chat enough, so it wasn't necessary. Fortunately, the controller was working like a charm. It was quite sensitive, but making adjustments to the sensitivity didn't seem to help. I made my way getting a feel for this bad boy and god damn, this shit was glorious. I named my character after a guy with a really bad, dumb, stupid, 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 and pump my points into charisma, intelligence, and endurance. I was a little worried, but making it to the vault before Adam blew his money shot load all over Mrs. Boston's face was easier than I thought. Surprisingly, down in the vault, it was quite exciting. Being the cuck I am, I let this sandbag Sally f my wife, and now it was time for the actual adventure to start. Making my way through the vault was quite easy, and honestly, a bit of sickness was starting to overcome me. I'm not sure if it was the lingering musty scent of a three-week-old hot dog that was left open in the fridge with probably a, a, 
a couple of E. coli colonies growing on that thing by now, or the sensitivity of the Wii remote, but I'm pretty sure it was the second one. After traveling my way through that vault and bringing those rad roaches to a quick death due to my dead eye aim, I was now off to Sanctuary to chat with my dad, Chadsworth. Of course, violence and buttfuckery is his forte, so I enjoyed the show, played with my hot dog a bit, and then went off on my way to go find Preston. I made sure to snatch dog meat along the way, and we gave those raiders a turbo dicking that they longed for. Saving Preston was a little, uh, yeah, 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 it was... Uh, but after we lactated on all those bad boys, it was time for the death claw. Dogmeat and I brought lead, bullets, testosterone, and facial hair to that death claw. And even though he pulled some X-Files shit on me, our strength was unmatched. Dogmeat and I tore those turd farmers a new booty crack, and Preston was saved. I was fortunate to not get clapped here, but that's because I was starting to get better with this bad boy. Before we continue on though, here's the plan boys. Operation Sweet Dicks was now in effect. The only objective this run was to take my big brained, 9 inch bicep, chiseled chin, nice eyelash, straight to the Brotherhood of Dank Beast. From there, I will shadow clone Jutsu my way into the Institute and then begin sabotaging those bad boys. This Wii Remote was basically an aimbot on steroids, so this was going to be a breeze. My only worry this run was Mass Fusion and the Glowing Sea. Now, gentle boys, this cute guy is going to get back to Please the. Stop. Wait, what? Stop, you're not cute. Like, you're ugly. What? Come on! Dogmeat and I set off to find Buzz Lightyear, but before that could happen, we found a granny in need. I killed her bullies and then Dogmeat convinced me to kill her too. If you haven't noticed, we now have two hot dogs strapped to this Wii remote. So if you haven't subbed yet, I want you to Dragon Ball Z Kai blast that sub button because we got Akimbo fucking hot dogs! Yes! Still learning the sensitivity, I made my way to Buzz and flew through the side mission. I totally did all the work and didn't leech at all. I mean, why would I ever do that? <laughs> I was totally leeching. And in no time, I got a nice spicy weapon. At this point, we now had three hot dogs on my Wii remote. Now, I know what you're thinking. Senza, that's cheating. Three wieners equates to way too much aimbotting. But listen, children. My tactic was to use these hot dogs as a counterweight to help with the sensitivity because it completely fucking blows. In no time, my three wieners and I made it to Diamond City. I chatted with Mayor McDongle, listened to Piper's annoying ass, and then had my addiction satisfied with that fatty facial of XP. I talked to that bad boy Nick's mom and set off to go find that cool guy. Making my way to Nick, I had a problem with my sensitivity and with a couple of dogs, but eventually, after getting my ass cheeks parted and absolutely demolished, I made it to the station. Now let me tell you boys, me and this Wii remote go hand in hand, like a dog's asshole on a carpet. My aim was absolutely impeccable, sniping anything that came into my sight. At this point, I was really feeling like the Chris Kyle of gaming. My precision, almost pinpoint. My hand-eye coordination, equivalent to that of a young kid trying to exit out of a porn browser. But gentlemen, I was on borrowed time. The stench of my hot dog attachments were starting to fill my room, and I could feel the E. coli bacteria building up on those bad boys, getting ready to Dragon Ball Z fusion and end my life in one clean punch. So this run needed to be finished fast. I popped Dino with my sick Wiimote quickscoping skills and then saved Nick. I made sure to grab my Barbie doll and with the power of 52 leather jackets, we pushed our way through. I murdered Skinny Malone in his boothing just so I could put my cute ass in her prom dress and then return Nick back to his mom. It was time to find Kellogg the Frosted Turd. Nick tried to open the lock to his house, but he couldn't because his lock picking wasn't 100. That shit was dead AF, single tear laughing emoji. But eventually, I got in that bad boy and let dog meat smell my poopy fing. The three amigos, Nick, dog meat, and I were off on our way to go spank that bad boy Kellogg. It was time for the wiener dog. It was time for the. It was time for the big. It was time the f Kellogg. God damn it. At this point, in all honesty, I kind of wanted to give up. The motion controls were giving me a headache and the three hot dogs attached to my controller smelled like penguin semen. But I made it this far and mama didn't raise no damn dick turd. I got to Fort Hagen with Nick's boner in hand and we stormed that place. I take back what I said about the Wii remote because this shit honestly fucking slaps. No one stood a chance and I popped everyone in my sight. At this point, my ego was higher than my addiction to poopy butt plugs and Kellogg was going to get it. In one fell swoop, 
I pulled out Kellogg's PS2 memory card without him saving, and it was done. I grabbed the brain augment and we controllered my way to Good Neighbor. I explored his memories and found out that his mom too still calls his Xbox and Nintendo. It was now time to head into the glowing sea and pay my radiated thunderstorm of a man a visit. This part was a little nerve wracking, I'm not gonna lie. Not only at this point had it been a day and a half with these festering wieners attached to my controller, but my Wii remote being finicky was going to be a problem getting through this sea. I plowed through through and had a nice meeting with a couple of rad scorpions that totally didn't devour my asshole in one sitting. After getting to my radiated thunderstorm of a man Virgil, he told me it was time to spank a courser. Lucky for him, I had a degree in that shit. This was when my military background actually took into effect. Precision was beyond imperative for this part. Finally, I got to the courser, and it was kind of a pain in my brown starfish, but shoving my machine gun barrel down his mouth hole seemed to work. So hey, I, I, I'll take that, that's pretty fucking cool. It was time to find someone that could decipher my chip. I made my way to the church, not dying or taking any damage at all or being annoyed by the mobs that are around or getting even shot at one time or having to reload. At this point, I was getting used to the controls of this Wii remote. Unfortunately though, I had to get rid of at least two of the hot dogs. God, I regret doing- ah! Oh shit! Fuck! Oh, dude! Oh. No shit, I'm putting the hot dog on the desk. It's falling out of the holster. Fuck, man. Them being bundled together was leading to a conglomerate of stench that even rivaled the stinkiest of swamp ass. I returned to my glorious radiated man hunk and then was forced to pick a side. We discussed this in the Operation Debriefing Boys. The Brotherhood of Hype Beasts were on the menu. I met with the elder fuck boy and was immediately sent off to do his bidding. Controlling the minigun on the vertibird was ridiculous and a complete pain, but I destroyed that super mutant behemoth and cleared out the building that I was told to. The elder told me of a plan to get me into the institute and huh wait a second you guys hear that don't you it sounds like a plot twist I was actually working for the Harriet Tubemans this whole damn time. I killed Proctor Ingram, clenching my booty cheeks tighter than any dog's jaw, and got the schematics. After that, I sped my way to the railroad, did a small side quest, and it was time. I built the teleporter and shadow clone jutsued my way into the institute. After talking to father, I chatted with the homies and inserted the network adapter. Oh, wait a second. Huh. That's weird. You guys hear that? That's right, plot twist again, motherfuckers. My Wii remote and I are actually siding with the Institute this run. After finishing my job inside the Institute, it was time for my next quest. But first, I had to head to Sanctuary. Because, that's right, motherfuckers. I'm joining Pre- You guys know I'm just kidding with that one. There's no sentient being on this planet that would ever join that Domino's Pizza looking head ass Preston. Just like the motto I live by, live fast, eat ass, I sped my way to Bunker Hill, clapped and recalled a couple of bad boy synths, and then attended a church meeting. I wore my most formal attire and was informed of the worst possible thing a gorgeous man like me could ever be informed of. It was time for mass fusion. I buckled my big boy seat belt and went to tackle this bad boy. Getting through mass fusion was the tumor I thought it would be. My arsenal wasn't looking too hot and at this point my Wii remote skills were looking a bit uh, a bit, a bit washed up. Just, just a little bit. But being the cool guy I am, I was able to pound through that bitch. Eventually, I made it to the reactor room. I'll tell you now that this was harder than peeing with morning wood. This was going to be my true test of strength, getting the reactor with a Wii remote. Although my asshole now failed to function, I was able to complete the task at hand and show a couple robots who their daddy was. God bless the nine for getting me the heck out of that mass tumor. Fortunately, Osron the hot dog attachment was still holding up and this run was nearly over. I was forced to to recite the Team Rocket slogan verbatim and then take care of a crazy old man. Before we could end this run though, I first had to take care of the Harriet Tube Mans. This plan was going to be simple and there's... <laughs> Listen, there's no need for epic music. The diplomatic approach was needed for this one. I was going to tell the tube mans to leave town and never look back. I wanted everyone to leave this sticky situation unscathed. It was now time for the last mission. This run was nearly over. I could finally stop playing with this Wii remote, even though, you know, I'm, I'm a god with this thing. <laughs> <laughs> Next level Chris Kyle guys, woo! <laughs> but this Wii remote was just a little too much. My headache was pounding and I prepared myself. Dr. Lee teleported my thick ass to the Brotherhood of Hypebeast HQ and it was time to finish up what I had originally started. I stormed the headquarters killing everyone I absolutely could and let the homies in through the back door so they could help out with this orgy. At this point I was beyond thrilled to be finishing up this game, so enthusiasm was at an all time high. I let all of the homies in on the gangbang and I protected this little synth back 
bad boy as he neutered Liberty Prime. I nearly died of deep butthole thrombosis when I saw Elder Maxon absolutely destroying his meat to my health bar, but that was it. That was finally f***ing it. I saved the wasteland with only a Wii remote, and only wanted to kill myself probably, uh, I don't know, like 10,000 times that run. The Brotherhood could no longer attend Supreme Drops, and I had one last job to do before the run was completely done. <laughs> You hear that, guys? I, I, I don't think you guys hear that. That's right. Plot twist again, you dirty monk. That was it. The run had finally been completed. Ozron, the final hot dog standing, was still intact, and I beat Fallout 4 in probably the most ridiculous way possible, with a piece of gaming equipment from 2009. This run really grinded my ding-dong into a fine paste and was a giant pain in the ass due to technical difficulties with the Wii Remote connecting to Bluetooth. I'm not sure when this video is dropping, but thank you guys for the support recently, and make sure to money shot that like button. Follow me on my socials, which is in the description for you cute little gremlins out there. And if you like the way I handle hot dogs, be sure to put some mustard on that sub button. Borderlands 3 will be out soon, and I'm going to be pumping out hella content for that bad boy. Thank you guys, and stay tuned for next week's video. How much neglect can your girlfriend's Pomeranian endure before succumbing to depression? Anyway, see you next week, you sweaty anal beads.